Well, class, we've come to the end of another school year. However, before you throw down your backpacks and break out the beach balls, I'd like to say a few words of precaution to you all, so listen up.、Hmm. Now, we all enjoy going to the park Space with Cadet. Friends, trips This with is getting to be an issue. Long, lazy days down、hmm. by the old swimming pool. But idle pleasures Summer. make the place. Big deal. I'll be working at the cafe practically every day. Oh, if only I could spend more time、Miss、with Mark. Hansen. Miss Hanson!、Ah! Perhaps you're confused. Vacation starts tomorrow. <laughs> Falling in love. Summer. Maybe chill at the beach. What about you, Zoe? I thought I'd spend it slinging pastry and vanilla lattes. <laughs> you mean they're not giving you any time off at the cafe? No way! <sighs> Maybe one day a week, the rest of my summer will be spent buried under trays loaded with milkshakes and new muffins. A day is all you need. Yeah, why not plan a day trip with Mark? I'd love to, but I can't. Why not? It's hard to explain. I just can't, okay? I think. A romantic day trip with Mark is a positively fab idea. Yeah, until some psycho alien shows up. Come on, Zoe. It'll be so romantic. Well, maybe. So you'll do it? We'll see. What do you think, Megan? Time, Time to put on our bikinis. bikinis. See you at the beach. Catch up with you later, Zoe. Time to put on our bikinis. Ugh. Why did I have to be a Mew Mew? I'm pooped. These late night research sessions are killing me. Wesley, what is this? This is footage taken of the Cyniclons just a short time ago. Theirs was a great civilization for thousands of years, perhaps even greater than our own. They didn't know then that they were bound for destruction. Huh? Take a look at this tree. The signs were already there that something had gone terribly wrong with their environment. You mean like on our planet when people make pollution and stuff? I have a feeling it was much worse. So what happened? The atmospheric warming that had started hundreds of years before suddenly erupted in a flash of fire and disintegration. They moved on to an as yet undiscovered planet in the hopes that they would start their civilization anew. But it wasn't meant to be. The new planet was even more uninhabitable than the last. Arctic winds blew day and night. Snow fell constantly. Few could survive under these conditions. With nowhere else to go, the Cyniclons found themselves in limbo, wandering endlessly, searching to find some place to call home. It's horrible. Huh? Imagine having everything you've ever known suddenly ripped out from under you. Nowhere to go every day, watching your babies and your loved ones suffer like that. I know it's no excuse, but now I can understand their anger in a way. But Renee. I mean, just think how selfish we are. Here we have a beautiful planet to call home, and we do nothing but abuse it every day. You can't blame them for wanting to take it away from us. Hmm. But we can blame them for hurting innocent people. I agree, what happened to them is terrible, but that doesn't excuse the fact that they're harming thousands of men, women, and children who had nothing to do with it. Well, what if we talk to them? Tell them we know what they've been through. If we could talk to them, we wouldn't need you girls now, would we? <sighs> Looks like we're back in business, Sardon. Deep Blue seems to think I've had enough rest and relaxation, so I guess we're a happy threesome once again. Don't expect me to be happy about it. 
Oh, admit it, Sardon. You know you missed me. <laughs> if you ask me, it's the dumbest idea ever. You're only gonna mess things up again. Don't hold back. Tell me how you feel. Oh, come off it, Sardon and me. We was doing fine without you. Oh, I beg to differ on that point. Hmm. Those cuties are still kicking up a pretty mean fight. Huh. No? They won't be for long. What's the plan? Divide and conquer. with Mark would be awesome. Ah! Uh, I'm, uh, sorry about that. Huh? Oh. Mark! Uh, hey, Zoe. Hi. You okay? <laughs> I am now. The year went by so fast, I can't even believe it's summer already. Yeah, I know. Of course, I'll be spending most of it at the cafe. Oh, sorry to hear that. I will have a day off every once in a while, in case you're interested. <gasps> Did she just ask him out? That's great, because I was really hoping we could get away for a little us time, if you know what I mean. Uh, us time? Yeah, us time. Okay! Maybe a day trip. Yeah! What's wrong? Don't you like your sundae? Oh, sure. I just ate it too fast, and now I have a major case of brain freeze. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, bummer. Hey, Zoe! <laughs> what did I do? Shh. So, um, wh wh where should we go? Anywhere, as long as we're alone. Well, we'll see. You know me, Mark. I've got such a totally busy social calendar and all. How about tomorrow? Sounds good. Meet you at the station at 10. Why do you think Zoe's acting like such a weirdo? Um, because she's a weirdo? Yup, that would be my answer. Where's my iced latte? Coming right up. Can I get my check, please? Absolutely. Absolutely? There should be a law against being that cheerful. Did I just see Zoe floating? Yep, she's floating all right. Hmm. Any reason? She's going on some silly day trip with Mark. <sighs> Amusement park, nature hike, queenie roast, county fair, clam bake? Oh, oh clam bake! Bingo? Yeah, fun city. I can't decide! Oh, wow! Kayaking? I haven't been in a kayak in, like, forever! <laughs> That's the tenth time I've sneezed in the last half hour. Guess Alaska's out of the question. <laughs> you almost finished there? Aye, aye. Uh, I've been racking my noodle about our Cineclon problem. In fact, that's all I can think about. Sorry if I have a hard time believing that. Oh, Ellie. Oh, you know, I had the strangest dream about you last night. You were running from something. Well, it was just a dream, right? I know. Zoe? What is it? Be careful. Huh? <sighs> See you later. He's worried there may be an attack soon. Huh? You're gonna be on call tomorrow. Hey, no problem. You can count on me. On call? Remember, the plan is to get each of them alone and away from the others so that their powers aren't as strong. Think you can handle that, Bren? Of course. I can handle anything. I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. <laughs> staying in bed, Missy. But I'm supposed to meet Mark. I'm late. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going anywhere. Now you go back to sleep, and I'll make you some hot soup. It's not fair! We're sorry. The 
customer you are attempting to call is outside of your calling area. Please hang up and call back later. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to call back later. Hey, I heard somebody's not feeling well. Hope it's curable. Who cares? My life is over anyway. Gotta break your date, huh? Ah, uh, well, you're better off, Pumpkin. You'd probably be sneezing and hacking all over the poor fella. Uh, help me. I'm gonna go out and mow the front lawn, honey. Let me know if her face turns blue or anything. Pick up! Hey, Bridget, it's me! I woke up with a horrible cold and I'm supposed to be marked to go on our day trip, but now I can't go and I can't seem to reach him on his cell phone, so I need you to keep trying and let him know I can't come. Please, will you do that for me? Okay, got it. Hope you feel better. That was Zoe. She caught a cold or something. She wants us to call Mark and tell him she can't go. Says she can't seem to reach him. Would you mind doing it, Bridget? My dialing hand is engaged. So I see. Hey! I got a great idea, you guys! An apple a day keeps the doctor away! Thanks. Maybe later. <coughs> oh, I feel like my whole head's gonna explode. And the rest of my body is one big mucus membrane. <coughs> oh, gross. Oh, I called Mark like you told me to, Zoe. And guess who's coming by to visit you later <gasps> on? Are you kidding me, Bridget? You can't be serious. I can't let him see me looking like this. <coughs> you look okay? Who cares if your nose is a little crusty? I care, that's who. I've got to look presentable. <gasps> Zoe! Oh, no. She's asleep. This will make quite a splash. I think the medicine knocked her out. Please forgive me, Mark, for getting sick. I didn't mean to ruin our trip this way. Honest, I didn't. I have to float away. Zoe? <sighs> hey, stuffy head. You know, you had me worried for a minute there. Oh, oh no! You mean this isn't a dream? Hey, why are you all red? I think our fever's going up. Why don't we wait outside, Kiki? Okay, but I think someone should take our temperature. I think your bedside manner needs some hey, work. Hey, where are you going? I'm sorry about today. That's okay. But I was so looking forward to it, and then... <laughs> oh. No worries. You just get better, okay? Can we still go? Mm -hmm. Of course. We'll go on your next day off, anywhere you want. Okay, good. Oh, I had a really weird dream about you last night. You were in trouble. Huh? Zoe? What is it? Be careful. It was pretty scary. Good thing it was only a really bad dream, right? <laughs> <laughs> Time for your medicine. I made some for you too, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Mark. Bye, Mrs. Hansen. Thanks for the cheesecake. Is it possible for any boy to be sweeter than he is? I think not. Hmm. <gasps> Hi there, Miss Me. Watchdog he got there, kitty cat. But I think his response time leaves a bit to be desired. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll protect you. Yeah, okay. We've got to find the others. Don't count on it. <laughs> I think I'll go to the mall for a bit and take advantage of the AC. Okay, see you back at the cafe. Boy, I sure am thirsty, Bridget. Well, why don't we take a stroll through the park, then? We can get a drink or a mm. popsicle or something. And I can do a triple axel dive! You don't have a swimsuit. Mm, never mind. <gasps> What's going on? Let's find out! Huh? Hey, I know you. Don't you work at Cafe Mew Mew? Yeah, 
you're, uh, Mark, aren't you? Zoe's boyfriend. Yeah. I guess you were going to visit her. I was? Well, I just thought since you were heading toward her place... Okay, well, I guess I'll see you later. Hmm. I've got plans for you, pretty kitty, so you just play nice and don't try any of those tired old Mew Mew tricks. That's it! We can't talk to you like that, Zoe! I'll show him! Attack! Huh? Uh, ah! I guess I should have transformed first! Uh. Ah! I think I just split a seam in my jammies. <laughs> I didn't know you were a tree hugger. Tag, <laughs> I'm it. <laughs> didn't Mama tell you not to run outside in your PJ? Well, Mama never thought I'd be chased by aliens. Oh, she didn't, did she? Well, here's something else she didn't plan on. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's bad, you should see what your friends are getting. <sighs> Right, Schnookums, your teammates can't save you this time. Ha! <laughs> ah! uh, what is up? A crazy sight! You know you can't keep running from me, kitten. All right, then I'll stop running and I'll start kicking your butt! Power pendant! Unimorphous in! Necessary. Oh no! I think my cold is worse than I thought! I can't. <laughs> Mew Mew Power in your face! Look at me! I'm practically quaking with fear! Strawberry Bell! I must say, you certainly are a tough little kitty. But sadly, here's where our story comes to an end. I can't give up now. If I give up, what will happen to the others? I've got to be strong. I've just got to hang on. A friend. 
I am the Blue Knight. Blue 